Uh, joining us now, producer from the Nancy Grace Show, Mike Duffy, and Mike's actually been to that crime scene, and he points it out. There's still so many questions, even when you talk about relationship, whether or not the two that ended up dead were boyfriend and girlfriend, or if there was somebody else could have been in there as well. That's still uh, up in the air. But let's get back to that crime scene. What are you hearing about it? You've been to that place, yeah. but how, what are sources telling you about what they experienced when they came upon the scene? So when I talked to several sources in the area, what they were telling me is that it seemed to be a particularly gruesome Mm. crime scene and I think we kind of got a sense of that when we couldn't figure out if it was just a a head wound or a gunshot wound that kept being debated back and forth and I think that that does point to the fact that this was a uh, particularly strange and gruesome scene and you and I talked about it here that still so many questions one way there could be some answers surveillance video yeah. did you see the cameras behind the store does it look like pay hey, potentially they've got something good here to go on I mean yes it's a highly trafficked area I mean this is suburban sprawl uh, but that area in particular right that alley that entrance way where where they were discovered uh, there are several cameras that are prominent you can see pretty much everything that's going on chances are they they saw something got it okay so you got the cameras from what also we gathered, you saw it firsthand. Is there a steak and shake, which is a 24 hour, uh is, there, is that close by and do you think someone could have seen or heard something? Well, it's not just close by. I mean, it is literally, there's a tree line right behind where the bodies were found and just beyond that is the stake and shake. I mean, oh, okay. given 60 yards at most. And chances are that an employee heard something, a, uh, a, a patron of that business. But in addition to that, just north of the grocery store, there are several residential neighborhoods. The, the yards back up against the grocery store. So someone sleeping in their bed, they heard a p potential gunshot. They would have known something. You see, and there's a Crime Stoppers number, by the way, if you have any information. Uh, and that's why it's great that you went there to give us that context. So with that said, odds that somebody's seen or heard something based on your experience of what you've seen, you think are pretty good. I, I think there's a high probability. I mean, people weren't walking around at that point in right. time, but if they heard a loud noise, they heard a scream of any sort, they're gonna have heard something. I think the police have uh, a lot of information that they're not letting go at this point. Got it, okay. Mike Duffy, producer from the Nancy Gray Show. Good seeing you. I know you guys will be covering it tonight, and we'll stay on top of it as well. May see you again as this continues to play out. Thanks, Mike, appreciate it.